referee looks at his watch. Any second now. Hello, welcome back to Mortal Vet TV. My name is Will. I'm Ollie. We're going through the French League One preview on every single team. This episode, Monaco. Interesting one. Monaco. Ollie is going to give you a snapshot of everything you need to know about Monaco. Big team. Will they be competing for top spot this season? We'll Let's find see. out in the we'll minute. We'll find out. Right. So what do we need to know? Manager, Leonardo Jardim. Jardim. He's obviously been manager since 2014. Yeah, yeah. He's been there for a while. Um, last season, they finished second. Pretty good. Yeah. But they were 13 points behind PSG. Yeah. That is significant. That's like basically what happened with United and City. In the yeah. Prem. PSG are unbelievable. They, I mean, they're not near. Is that any fault <clears throat> of Monaco? Or no, is it just, just because PSG, PSG is so good? good. Yeah. Exactly. So... I mean, okay. we, you could argue, I mean, they gave PSG their star man, yeah. Mbappe. They gave so, him the lead, so maybe. maybe. So maybe yeah. it is their fault. Yeah, okay. Um, their star striker, Mr. Falcao. Yeah. People said he'd lost it. How many has he got? 18 last season. Not bad. Not bad. Good. For an old man. Yeah. They reached the League Cup final, but lost to PSG, 3-0. Mm. Mm. Um, they also got thumped by PSG, 7-1 oh. away from home. That's and 2-1 at home. Yeah, okay. So you can see the, the difference in class there. Um, key players, Kieta Balde. Kieta Balde, yeah. Um, so he's Senegalese left winger from yeah. Lazio last year. Yeah, 27 mil. He's decent. And I've got new signing, Golovin. Yeah. The Russian. The World Cup's done yeah. wonders for him. Done so good for him. Surprised, um, what's he called? Hasn't gone anywhere. Uh, the other Russian guy. Cherishev. Cherishev. Yeah. I don't know, maybe he will. Maybe he will. They've got money to play with. Yeah. Um, could, could be good to have a couple of Russians together. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, he's not on the list. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he signed for 27 mil from CSK. Yeah. Um, and you've got other key player, Stefan Jovetic. Yes. Former Inter, Sevilla and Man City centre forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So him and um, Falcao play yeah, well together. Yeah, good signing. They didn't sign him now. He's a key player. Ah, sorry. Yeah. Signings, just mentioned Golovin. So Golovin's one, but he's he was already Jovetic was already there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, then you've got Jean Edu Alou. 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 Can't pronounce it, sorry about that. Um, def defensive midfielder yeah. from Strasbourg. Yeah, okay. Twelve point six mil. Um William Willem Goebbels. Goebbels, yeah, <laughs> left wing. Uh, left wing from Lyon, eighteen yeah. mil. Um Pele. Yeah. Not the Pele. Another obviously. defensive midfielder. Another defensive midfielder. Nine mil from Rio. Yeah. Um, and Baraka left back from Torino. Nine mil. Yeah. So they spent money. They spent money, but they haven't actually, apart from Golovin, yeah, they haven't yeah. really brought in any big, huge, huge names. names. Yeah. But wait till you see what they've sold. But they've, they've probably still got money in the bank to oh, bring someone big in. Serious money. Yeah. So firstly, transfers out. Yeah. Mbappe. Yeah. Lastly, last year he went on a loan. Yeah, now they made and it. Now this is permanent. Yeah. So they sold him for 121 mil. Yeah. To nice. PSG. Thomas Lamar to Atletico Madrid, mm. left winger, 63 mil. He was going to go to Liverpool, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. 63 mil. Yeah, yeah. Mad yeah. money. Fabino. Yeah. Liverpool. He did go to Liverpool. Defensive midfielder, 40 mil. Um, Diacabi to so Huddersfield. As well as Congolo to Huddersfield, yes. 18 mil and 9 mil. And Congolo went on loan at the end of last season, they've made that permanent yeah. as well. That's more money in the bank, but, yeah. Um, Mortinho to Wolves for 5 mil. Yeah. Um, Good little feeder club. Yeah. Aren't they? Yeah. Monaco. But this, this, is, this is what worries me, and this is what leads me on to my verdict. They have a tendency of doing this. They get a load of good players, mm. usually from the youth, youth team, train them up, have a great season, a great couple of seasons, and then they sell them all. Mm. Make loads of money, but then they screw themselves because they don't bring in big yeah, replacements. Fair enough, but they're still up there. So they're still yeah, second best team in, team in League One. I, the, the season before last, they won, they won the league, didn't they? And then sold, obviously sold all yeah, their players. and they still come second. But, so this is my prediction. I don't think, I think this season will be a bit different. Okay. I think... Some of the other teams in the league, like 
Lyon, mm. Marseille, they're going to be definitely pushing them for second. Um, I think... Well, they've made better transfers. Yeah, and I don't know, I just think some of the transfers they've brought in might take a little bit of time to embed. Yeah, they've, okay. missed, they've missed a lot of key players. And yeah, yeah. going to cause a lot of disruption. Yeah. So my prediction is they're going to slip a little bit further down. Uh, they'll still be up there, but I'm going to go for fourth. Yeah, and then maybe come back stronger the season after. Maybe. Fourth. All right. Let us know if you agree in the comments. If you Tell us where you think they're going to finish. We're previewing every other team in League One and the top five leagues in Europe. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like the video. That's it. See ya. See you later. Now then, it's Pesquet. The referee looks at his watch. Any second now.